Yeah, I was just trying to get him down. Whenever you have free safety and your last line of defense, you just want to get the ball down, get a defense another chance to, to uh, get him off the field. What was your comfort level facing uh, from you know mobile quarterback compared to early earlier in the season? I guess you know feeling more comfortable with that. Yeah, um, j just the guys are uh, going out there and executing and and doing their responsibilities. Uh, with the exception of one drive, uh, I think it was the first half. Uh, I mean, we pretty we pre pretty much stopped, held them to, I mean, what seven points besides the the the, um, the long kickoff return in the beginning. They didn't seem to run a whole lot of this game for the quarterback to keep the ball. Did that surprise you a little bit? Um, what what do you mean as far as as far the, as using Williams or McGee as runners? Uh, yeah, I mean, going into the game, we we expected them to um, r run the speed option a little more than they did. Um, they, I mean, they ran it a couple times, uh, scrambling and scrambling around. But other than that, they they really didn't run a speed option as much as we thought they would. The very first one, um, just uh, miscommunication. Really, um, we, we was in the coverage, and um, me and Donovan, we wasn't on the same page. So uh, things like that happened. But uh, glad in the end, it didn't. You know, it didn't hurt us in the end. Just, I mean, we just got to keep getting better as far as me and him communicating on that side of the, of the field. You saw that trick play Saturday. You think that's going to lead to a more more of a push within the players that kind of go for some more kind of creative type of things is it, since that one worked out so well and uh, <laughs> that rise out everybody? Oh, I, I mean, I, I never expected, uh, especially here in Michigan, not to run, I mean, to run a play like that. So, I mean, when I seen it, I was like, Adrian running a reverse. And then, you know, I mean, it worked out. So anytime a play like that works, it's a, it's, it's a big plus. But if it doesn't, it, you know, it, it's not. But um, when you just said it, you thought it was reversed. You didn't know he was going to jump the pass. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't know he was going to throw the pass at all. And he he he's usually not the one that r runs the reverse. So I kind of expected something something to happen. But you know, Adrian's versatile anyway. He he wanted to uh, he he wanted to throw a touchdown pass early in the season to Mallet, but Mallet tripped over his own feet. So. <laughs> Kind of get a sense from the coaching staff that maybe you guys were about due for something like that, just for something kind of fun in the game to see if it worked great. If not, you know, at least we tried. Um, nah, I, I mean, as, as far as the offense goes, I, I really don't know uh, what the, what they're practicing on like during their team period. So I, I really didn't expect it. Did you see that kind of play any time in practice this year, or maybe? In nah, I actually haven't even seen it. <laughs> Um, he he he's he he goes out there and he, and he's fearless really. Um, he's getting better week by week and playing the routes a lot better. Um, me and him communicating better, and he me and him together we just got to keep getting better as far as uh, being on the same page every snap. And I mean he he's he's going to be a great player. He he just has to keep getting better and better each week. You just Donovan being fearless. Is that what this team is now? Is this sort of a fearless approach to the season you had? The two opening season losses now. Nothing else could hurt you, obviously another loss. But mm -hmm. I mean what's the mental approach when you, when you go through this? You know, with, with the with the senior leadership on this team, after losing the first two games, the the, the younger guys kinda kinda looked looked up to us as, as to, for guidance, you know, and like losing those first two games just I mean, anything can happen on any week. So we just go out there each week trying to prepare and, and trying to get the younger guys to understand what it takes to prepare each week, no matter who you're playing. It's so easy to take the, the little brown jug for granted until you lose it. I mean, was it kind of tough watching that come over and take it away from you? Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, in, in 05, I mean, I, w I wouldn't want to experience that again. So um, definitely this week in practice, I'm sure Coach Carr showed some clips of them coming over and taking it from us. I mean, that was by, by far one of the the worst feelings I've had here, just them <coughs> rushing our sideline and taking a job. Have you seen much of the Minnesota offense? And if so, what, what kind of impressions you have of 
Of what like this year? Um, actually, after 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 we leave here, we, we have meetings and to uh, go over their offense. Does the defense just give you guys confidence to see um, like a game like this where they're changing quarterbacks and you have know, different running backs in there, but they're still able to put points on the board? Wait, say that again. Does it give you guys confidence as a defense to see, you know, when your offense, when you got Mallet going out there, then Henny going out there, and Carlos right out there, it's kind of a mixed, um, you know, uh, of players, but they're still putting points on the board? Yeah, I mean, that that's how it is here in Michigan. Really, it, it's just the expectation of the position, whether it's safety, quarterback, running back, whatever, whoever steps in there expected to do well because we, we all practice doing the same things. They might do it differently, but it, they're ex expected to do well. So, Lloyd described Chad after the game as courageous, and it was a gutsy effort. How does that resonate through the team when you guys, even on defense, see your quarterback doing what he did in that fourth quarter? Um, we we thought he was out for the rest of the game. Um, I don't know exactly what what was going on, but um, for him to just come back and lead us like that, it just shows you what kind of guy he is.